<clears throat> Alright, hey guys, so, um, I'm gonna go through, uh, getting this, this thing going here. It's just a 600 by 600 canvas with some WebAssembly filling in the pixels. Um, here's the HTML file. I'll have this all on a GitHub link below, but this one I actually, uh, line by line, character by character, essentially stole from a Rust blog post doing this stuff and extra stuff like animating and everything, a lot of really interesting, cool stuff. I'm going to link that in the description below, as well as another uh, blog post slash article about um, compiler flags and how the compiling process works, if you want to look at that. So, um, I'm going to jump straight into the C code. Um, so, uh, really all I need is the, the buffer. I'm going to add a width and a height um, and the buffer. So this buffer is just what um, the JavaScript expects to see. Sorry, the JavaScript uh, slash uh, HTML expect to see. Um, and I'm gonna. And they also want one function like so. Um, and they they just expect to have those there uh, to run and work with the canvas. So um, to compile, Clang target is target is WebAssem WebAssembly 32. Optimizations I'm gonna just have from now. Um, there's no entry. Whoops. What did I do wrong? No entry. Um, export everything. Uh, output is gonna be called bare metal wasm dot wasm, and our input file is graphics dot c. So this uh this export everything is so JavaScript can actually see everything and nothing gets optimized out. Um, all right, so then let's, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna make a 2D array because I prefer working with that. Um, it's gonna be slower. I'm not too worried about efficiency here. And I'm gonna iterate over um, for loop with the with both um, the, the X and the Y because this will let me draw on all the pixels um, so yeah so I'm gonna quickly compile that to make sure that works okay looks good um, and then I'm just gonna quickly run a HTTP server so you can't actually load WebAssembly stuff from your file system and I recommend the Python 3 one because the Python 2 one doesn't know how to handle WebAssembly either. So I'm just going to make sure I don't have any JavaScript errors. Alright, so it looks like the WebAssembly is loading in and everything fine. So then, um, so let's get a color. So uh, let's, I'm just going to go with um, blue. So the, the colors are RGBA and they're little Indian. So that means... Um, I'm going to have a 32-bit unsigned integer uh, that will be able to do each of those. Um, so the, all four of those are 8 bits, so together we'll be able to handle it. So uh, since it's a little Indian, it's going to be ABGA, ABGR. So I want um, the higher of A is, the less transparent it will be, so I want full zero transparency. Um, and I want it to be blue. And then I don't want any green or um, or red. So then I'm going to assign a screen X, Y to color. And from there, um, the final thing is to convert from screen X, Y to buffer, which is going to be uh, width times X plus Y equals screen X. Y. Um, you could drop, uh, basically, you could drop f this stuff, but I'm, I'm doing it for completeness. This isn't necessarily the most concise or anything. So now I'll compile. Whoops. Um, oh, I see what I did wrong. This shouldn't be constant. There we go. And I forgot a semicolon. Cool. So then uh, run Python, and there we go, beautiful. So there's our, um, there's our blue square. So let's just say, just for the sake of messing with it, 
Um, if you wanted half of it to be a different color, uh, you could easily go here and say, like, let's say I want half of it to be red. Um, I would go turn this end point to like so. And then if not, I still want it to be blue. Um, great. And then I'll come here, recompile. Let's see what happened. I'll just declare it up there um, so it doesn't go out of scope. All right, recompile, run the server, and there we go. And then you can do the same thing if you want like it to be height-wise. Um, whoops, I forgot to recompile. There we go. So yeah, so that was um, a simple WebAssembly visual demo in six minutes.